Hello YouTube, and we're going to be looking at how to use Source Recorder inside of any Source-based game, uh, meaning Team Fortress 2, uh, Counter-Strike Source, Half-Life 2 Deathmatch, and pretty much anything that uses Source Engine. So let's jump right into it. But before we do that, we're going to go over what, uh, what a demo file and Source Recorder actually is mainly for. It's mainly for catching hackers and stuff. It's pretty much the kill cab for, from Call of Duty, so servers and uh, communities can determine whether someone's hacking or not and have a visual proof of it. Now, what you can also do with it is you can make it into the best fraps that there is and edit it, everything inside of TF2 and produce a, a high quality movie. And best of all, it doesn't eat up a lot of space on your hard drive either. So, the commands you're going to need to know is record, stop, start movie, and end movie. And I'm going to do this as if I was going to be using this for a valid reason. So, let's say I found a hacker and I'm in spectate mode. I'm going to do uh, record hacker and it's going to say recording to hacker.dem this means it's recording i can move around play freely and it's going to be recording everything so i'm going to go ahead and you got blood on my suit and then i can go ahead and stop it and demo and completed the demo now if we go into um if we disconnect and we go to uh, play demo hacker it's going to load up the uh, demo that we recorded and it's going to play it back to us. As you see, this is exactly what I just did before. So it's sort of, sort of like Deja Vu, I guess. You got blood on my suit. And after this is done, we're going to show you the final command that can be used to convert to AVI. Now, what you can also do is open up fraps if you wanted to. I don't know why I would want to do this, but I'd do it because of render times can be a little high for this and start recording and play back the demo and just put, treat it as like a VHS tape just like go have a cup of coffee and let it play out so to convert that actual demo file after you edit it but I'm not gonna go over editing it but after you have everything done on that demo file you're gonna wanna make it to an AVI file so start movie um, then uh, the name of what you want the movie to be, and also after the record, uh, the name, the word that you put after it, or words that you put after it, is going to be the name of the demo file itself. And so, the same goes for start movie command, it's going to be the name of the file itself, and it doesn't have to be the same. And then, the next perimeter, which is basically going to be a space, and then the next thing you want to put AVI, this is going to make it an AVI format. Then if we start that, this window will come up, and I usually do full frames on compress, but if you have a codec you like to use, go ahead and select it, hit OK, and back in TF2, it's going to say start and recording movie frames will record after console is cleared, so after you load your demo, which is going to be play demo hacker, once it's loaded, it's going to start record it, recording. Now, note when it is recording this, you're not going to have any sound in Team Forces 2 or the game you're playing. Everything's going to be slow motion, but that just means it's working. Trust me. So this is why I say if you prefer to use fraps for, ed for editing that into an AVI file, if it's longer than like a couple seconds or a minute or so, you probably don't want to use fraps because... I had a like a twelve minute demo file once and I tried rendering it out using this command. It probably would have taken over an hour. So that's why I just said screw that, went fraps and everything worked out fine anyway. And after this insanely slow taunt is over, we should be closing up on this demo. And once you're back into the console, end the movie. That is all you have to do. And now, inside of your TF2 folder, or whatever games folder you're on, there should be the name of your um, video.avi video ready to be used.
And that's how you use Source Recorder.